Parents of Reddit. How do you feel when your kid brings back a girlfriend boyfriend? How do you decide whether you like them or not? It's not up to me to like them. It's up to her. If she does. Then I do. I care that my daughter is. 1. Safe 2. Happy 3. Motivated 4. Handling her own business. Apart from that. I'm just enjoying watching her experience things. And hoping she includes me in some of that. Met my daughter's boyfriend the other day. First boyfriend. She's 17. He's 18. I must admit I was a bit nervous and I remember very well being 18 and what I was thinking wanting. But had a word with myself to be welcoming and warm and to treat him as an equal. My daughter's friend and therefore my friend. Anyway he's a nice young man so it's all good. But I to answer your question I guess if he's nice I'll like him if he's a dick I won't. Either way as far as my daughter is concerned I'll like him. Not a parent. But this was my experience with my mother when I was a teen. So. As a teen. My mother pulled me to the side and gave me the gay talk. You know. The I'll still love you even if you were gay talk. I asked her why she thought I was gay and she said it was because I never bring any girls to the house. Guess what I did within the next few days? I brought a girl in the house. Guess what my mother did? She kicked her out and gave me a lecture on how inappropriate it was to bring girls to the house. Yes. It makes no sense. My 4 year old daughter introduced me to the 5 year neighbor kid as a BF. She told me he's really good at running fast and he appreciates snails as much as she does. Needless to say. My daughter just started dating. Next time ask if they're having a yee time. Doesn't work in the sentence. My daughter, 13, wanted me to meet her first real boyfriend. I was nice and pleasant. But I knew it wouldn't last cause he was all looks and no brains. Of course. As JR high relationships go. It was about a 2 month ordeal. I think all parents should try and be cordial. Unless the person feels like a serial killer or something. When they interact and help out the rest of the family. When my daughter didn't understand her homework and then her sister's boyfriend helped her it showed how much he actually cared. I like to think I would do this but I probably wouldn't understand the homework either. My mother-in-law assumed I was some sort of player when I first met her before my first date with my wife. Even told my wife that she assumed I went on lots of dates back at school. Jokes on her. I spent the entirety of my freshman year, year before I met my wife, enjoying the sweet, sweet internet speed of my dorm room and playing the shti out of Halo 3, Mass Effect 1 and 2, picking up drunk dorm mates from house parties at 3am, and going on exactly zero dates. After years of getting to know my mill, she just didn't want her daughter to get into a long distance relationship. Then end up moving out of state with me if we got married and I was still there, which ended up happening. Oops. My mother has always been accepting of everyone I've ever dated. But realistic about their faults. My family immediately welcomes them with open arms. But just warns me if they seem off for whatever reason. I think it's a decent system. Edit. I had a story about a great future son-in-law who impressed me with his basic decency at the age of 19. Reddit came to the astonishing conclusion that he and my daughter were having a sex. Good thing I posted here or I never would have figured that out. If you don't know any synonyms for sx. Read on. I have always instinctively known within seconds of meeting them. I've liked all but one of my son's partners. And the one I didn't feel right about was the one who screwed him up. I'm not a parent but my GF's father hates me for some reason. It's been one, one stroke two years already. It's gotten better since then though but still. Edit. Thanks everyone for your comments and support. I see that a lot of people are going through a similar situation. I know it will get better. If anything when we can finally live together on our own. Stop taking all his booze and having loud sx in his bed. Not a mother but I'm a sister to a lovely brother. He had brought some girls in house in his teenage years. 
and instantly I would know if I liked them or not. The first one he brought was super rude with me and my parents. She would eat alone in the bedroom when we are having dinner. Force my brother to be mean to me. Etc. Few months after the relationship ended in a really bad way. After that brought some girls. Didn't talk so much with them but they were nice and sweet. Didn't last long. Less than 2 months. The last one he brought. When I talked to her. Just one thought came to mind she's the one. 5 or 6 years later. Here they are. Living together. Edit. Not a parent so I called my mom. She stated and I quote. I like all of them until they give me reason not to. Then I never tell you whether I like them or not. So I don't influence your own judgment. I cannot choose for you. Although sometimes I wish I could. MRS. Unappreciated son. Edit. Spacing. Edit 2. Yes I'm aware that my mother appreciates me as many pointed out lol. It's not her that's the concern. But I appreciate you guys sticking up for my mom. Even when it's not directed to her. Thank you guys for pointing it out. Hopefully this fixes it. Edit 3. It's about respect. If she treats him right. And compatibility. On the other end. Not her dad. But my girlfriend's roommate is this old grizzled marine dude. She told me that he liked me because I didn't try to get him to like. Which apparently most people do. I was just myself and acted naturally. Which he appreciated. Just be yourself and the people that will like you will like you. And the people who won't won't. But always be respectful. You bought him a box of crayons. Admit it. My stepdaughter's boyfriend came into my house and we were talking about computer games and he had the audacity to tell me why Red Dead 2 was better than God of War. In my house. But respect to the lad for that. He stuck to his principles and a year later still argues with me about gaming stuff. You should have started calling him boy in your best Kratos voice. Nothing asserts dominance like a good Kratos impression. My eldest is 15. And boys in high school can be. Gross. The way they speak to girls, and girls to boys, is just so far out of line it makes me ill. But her boyfriend is respectful to her and her family. Most importantly they're the same brand of weird. They FaceTime 19 hours a day I swear. But yesterday they had an entire conversation about penguins both using the same weird fake Russian type accent. He's a safe place and without very good cause. I'd never get in the way of that. Well they've all been fine so far. Except for one. It's the only time I've ever gotten mad enough to kick someone out of my home. He tried to get me to believe that he didn't know what a potato was. Here's my dad's take. He liked my ex-BF at first because he was initially polite and friendly. And I was very happy with him. However. My dad started to notice red flags later on and his opinion of him changed. For example. When we came back to my place from a day trip. He had sulked because I didn't show the enthusiasm he wanted about his favorite landmark. My dad told him that he should forgive me. But he still would not stop whining. My dad later told me that his reaction was blown out of proportion. Basically my dad would decide whether or not to like any guy I bring home based on the way he treats me. Edit. I did not show zero interest in what my ex liked. I just wasn't as over the top excited as he wanted me to be. Comma basically my dad would decide whether or not to like any guy I bring home based on the way he treats me. Imagine that. What a radical idea. I love to meet his girlfriends. In a very self-serving way. I think his ability to attract charming ladies reflects the quality of my parenting. On one hand. I like whoever brings joy to his life. On the other hand. I prefer to be around polite and well spoken people. A bit of nervousness on her part indicates that meeting me is important to her. Not a parent but my parents have talked about my boyfriends. They liked most of them but my dad said there was one he specifically didn't like right away. I dated that guy for over a year before he cheated on me with his ex and left me for her. My dad said he didn't like that guy because he reminded him of his ex-wife who did the same thing to him. 
I said. Whatever you do to my daughter. I will do to you. I've been stuck giving him emotional support and validation for 3 years. That fking bastard. Well. My mother's decision is 90% based on if she's catholic or not. Can't say I'm a fan of her method. I am nice to my son's girlfriend and my daughter's boyfriend. It's not my job to have an opinion on who they choose. If it all goes belly up I'm there to support them until the next one goes wrong. Rinse and repeat until they find their one or I'm dead. I've been the hated boyfriend for no reason. It really sucks and affects the relationship. My ex makes no secret of her opinions on the kids partners the only thing that does is stops them talking to her about issues they have in their relationships. I feel excited for them. It's that wonderful time at the start of a new relationship and it's exciting to see them happy and enjoying this new experience. It's still quite new for me, and them, so as a parent I'm still learning. I've been fine with all the people I've been introduced to so far. Maybe as I know that the likelihood is these relationships won't last so for me it's not an issue if I don't take to them. Time will tell once their relationships become more serious. My 5 year old has a boyfriend that's in her class and I honestly don't know how I feel. I've met him and he's a sweet kid. But JFC she's like his beer wench. Edit. The beer wench comment is sarcasm. Apologies if that didn't come across. My parents both instantly liked the first super nerdy boy I brought home. He didn't even have to talk before my dad was beaming at him. It was weird tbh. I married the nerdy guy. So their instincts were good. So I dk. Peter. My first silver. Thank you kind reddit stranger fam. I first met one of my kids partners when they both joined us on a weekend away. We had a discussion on some general subjects in which he disagreed with me. He defended his position rather than defer to me. Good chapter. My husband and I always like the person unless there's something terribly wrong with them. First of all. We want our kids to trust us and never to disregard our not liking a potential mate because we never like anyone. Secondly. We would never want our kids to feel like they have to choose. It's their mate. Not ours. Thirdly, most young people are fairly okay. So no point in acting like no one can be good enough for our precious babies. Not a parent. But my parents were always fine with my boyfriends. My dad had a sixth sense though. He not only knew on instinct which of mine were off. Just off meeting them once. Just off a feeling. So he never would have said anything to me. But he knew in 2 seconds of meeting him before JR prom that my best friend's first BF was super slimy and fake. And he was. He was cheating on her. We found out months later. Generally though. I'd say my parents liked most of my boyfriends. But when I brought home my current one. They told me they loved him. And my mom later put it like this. All the other guys were fine. But we didn't seem like good matches. They knew on meeting this one that he was right for me. After a while I think what you really want to look for from as parents is that enthusiastic reaction of a good fit. I don't have to like him. My daughter has to like him. Just like hairstyles. Doesn't matter if I like your hairstyle or not. You're the one who has to wear it. Now. If my daughter asks me advice. Or asks my opinion. I'll be honest with her. Even if it may hurt. Because I care about her and I only want to see her happy. But if I'm not asked. I will welcome the guy. Be friendly and kind to him. And keep my opinions to myself. Why? Because she chose him. And if that makes her happy. Then I'm happy. I have a 4 and 7 year old. I'm dreading that point in life. It's a respect thing. Do they respect themselves? My son? My home? If the answer to any of those is no. Then I do not like them. I always give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that if my kid likes them. Then they must be an okay person. I tend not to get super attached as my kid is only 18 and there will probably be more girlfriends in the future. Plus. I am not an overly emotional person who gets attached to many people. 
I have been lucky that my son has never brought home anyone that I didn't like at some level and I don't want to be that weird mom whose kid avoids bringing their dates around. My daughter is 10 and has been boy crazy for basically ever. I'm sure that until she calms her shti down that I will hate all of them. As a little girl I was boy crazy because I was overcompensating. About March of this year our 12 year old daughter informed us she had a girlfriend. A girl that was also in her friend circle. I was not really surprised. Just kind of talked to both of them that they should be careful who they tell just because they live in a tiny town of 1500 people in the sticks. She lives with her mom full time. They are so young right now. And just super sweet. For now I like her but she is a year older and a bit more experienced in life than our daughter so we keep an eye on things but really can't judge her at this point. Someone once told me I'm not part of the selection committee. I'm head of the welcoming committee. Not a parent but I'm more of an ass man myself. Assistant manager? I went downstairs at 2am to find my cat laying on the floor as our neighbor's cat was eating food from his bowl. I like the neighbor's cat. Skittles. Well I did street first but she needs to earn my trust back for me to approve of their relationship. My kid's not old enough yet. So let me instead explain how my parents screwed this up. They cared way too much about politeness. Politeness is a terrible proxy for whether someone's a decent person. A lot of teens are rough around the edges and not super comfortable in that situation. And it's not just teens. Sometimes awkward or abrasive adults turn out to be wonderful people. And friendly and charming adults turn out to be utter goddamn sociopaths. Avoid the superficial snap judgments. I eat them because humans are bad for the planet. I was lucky my dad was super chill about that kind of thing. His main rule was always that if a guy drove to the house to pick me up he had to come inside. Shake my father's hand. And introduce himself politely. When I was 16 and my first boyfriend cheated on me I'll never forget my dad saying that I should never stay with someone out of obligation. You are a complete person and you don't need a relationship to survive. I'm not a parent but I would not like this to die in you. Update. The only way to a woman's heart is through her parents. Sleep with them and you're in. Edit. Jeez. Thanks but you all can chill on the upvotes. You guys are getting in a relationship? Little anecdotal. But my father-in-law told me he straight up didn't like me or trust me until he saw me hold my ground against his daughter, my wife. Oddly it was always something he struggled with. Which is how she ended up a little spoiled. She's a great loving wife and mother. But the spoiled little girl comes out sometimes. Bold of you to assume that people on Reddit are married. I feel proud but then my alarm goes off and I have to wake up to find out I don't have a kid. Not a parent but whenever I had a normal. Same gf my mom would hate her. But every girl I met that was nuts would be best friends with my mom. When I was 16 I met a girl that was 18 and covered in tattoos. Smoked weed all night and went home with her. The next day. First thing I see is my mom laughing with her in the kitchen. Why didn't you bring her before? I love her. If he's respectful. Treats her with dignity and respect. And says yes mom to my wife. That's all I can ask for. He and I can shoot the breeze all we want. Also. It helps if he likes football. Just not the Patriots or Cowboys. Just kill them both. My son is only 4 years old. But I have told my wife that the day he brings his girlfriend boyfriend. I'm going to be eating a mayonnaise with a spoon from a jar. The jar will be filled with custard or something similar. Or mayonnaise. Whatever. The moment Ishii is saying me hello. Mom of a 13 year old. He told me got a girlfriend and I didn't know how I felt about it. At first. I'm like. Cool. He feels comfortable he can tell me things. And then I'm like. Why do I feel uncomfortable about this whole thing? It's like the next level parenting and I'm not ready for it. I met her and she's super nice. 
very shy, and very awkward. So a normal teenager? My kiddo just told me this past weekend she broke up with him and he took it in stride. He said it was expected since she's a year older and in high school now, and even when he goes to high school. Won't be the same high school she's at. I told him it's okay. That stuff happens. And still don't know how I feel about the breakup. Personally. I'm not ready for raising teenagers. I feel like I got forced onto a roller coaster and they didn't put on the safety straps and I'm just holding on for dear life.